I'll pray. Thank you, Heavenly Father. It's good evening. Thank you for the blessings of God. Watch what we shall see. Let us make the best decision for our county, dear Jesus. And the Father walk with us throughout the days and throughout the week. Bless our children. Bless our people in our county, dear Jesus. And the Father, thank you for all that you do for me, my God. Most of all, Lord, thank you for the plan of salvation to see. Amen. 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 I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Commissioners, please check in. Right before we get into business, I, uh, I asked Ruth Perkins from the Ambulance Service and Jay Muncie, our emergency manager, uh, come up here with me just to acknowledge uh, an event that's occurred uh, the last few weeks at Lone Shum Memorial Park uh, on May 27th. And uh, we had a family out there that was unfamiliar with boating and had an accident. And the three children were struck by the propeller of the boat. And in about 30 minutes time, our ambulance service and our, our emergency management staff and park staff were able to evacuate three wounded uh, one by helicopter and two by ground uh, in response to that accident and all three of those kids are on the men today. So uh, don't have a certificate or anything to present them, but uh, our deputy director, Jeff Akers, is on uh, vacation this week, so I have to stand in uh, for him here in representation of our ambulance service and Jay uh, in representation of our park and our emergency management staff. I'd just like for everybody to join me in a round of applause for the guests. But this is 
is a permanent solution for something that we've been talking about for almost a year. It's just we hadn't been able to get the funding together. So I wanted to let everybody know what was going on um, and thank everyone. Thank all the commissioners that have called to check in on us. Thank the mayor's office. Thank everybody that has checked in. Um, but today I actually spoke with our shelter manager who is in California and I asked, I've got to call Tony. Um, I asked why she keeps turning off the air conditioning unit in the back and she said it's not working. Why it keeps getting turned off. So even with our portable conditioners back there now, it's not cooling, so I think we'll have to look at the other unit as well. But um, Train came out and brought big, huge, portable coolers, and we can use those that are on loan until whatever time that it takes to get everything fixed. So I wanted to let everybody know what's going on. Um, does anybody have any questions? As long as you got it under control. <laughs> I don't have it under control. Somebody's got it under control, but it's starting to wait on me. Um, I, I, I can't say enough good things. Seriously, companies were pulling up with trucks, and Tony came running up there with some kind of zapper to check the temperature because someone told him we had sick dogs and we were icing them down and dunking them in cold water. And, uh, and none of that's true, but he came with a zapper. He was going to check it all out. So. Somebody has it under control, but it's not me. But the shelter is a-okay. We're cool as cucumbers in those certain areas. And like I said, it was it's a blessing. Uh, could have been a disaster. But while we were waiting for the county to get the parts in, other people stepped in and took care of some things that we can now work off of. So, and I know y'all are going to talk about the fencing stuff. But I have to head out. So thank you all thank for you. letting me. Like I said, it burns my mouth. Credit where credit's due. Thank you. Thank you, um, guys. First order of business is a uh, modification to our agenda. I think uh, Commissioner Bruce has a motion. Uh, Mr. Chairman, on behalf of the commissioners in the 4th District, we would like to recommend Mr. Jennifer Orr to fill the vacancy of her husband, Mike Ord, until the next election. I have a motion on the floor. I'll second. Second. Portia Barry. We do have a unanimous second. At the will of the commission, we certainly can. Okay. We have a unanimous second. So, Mr. Coker. We have a nomination. All right. Are there any more nominations? Did I hear a motion nomination cease? Motion nomination Mr. Cease. Bruce. Second. Second by Davis. We have one nominee. Does that require a vote, Joe? Okay. Will you vote yes or no? Press confirm. Wait, can you confirm? Does anyone wish to change their vote? See none. Madam Clerk, please show the vote. 14 yes, unanimous. Jennifer, thank you. We're very proud of you. And we love you. Mr. Chairman. Mr. Orr. Let me also say I think that we're going to have the ceremony for the swearing in in the morning at 830 in this courtroom. Am I correct? I just wanted everybody that could attend. Everybody's invited. And let me say I appreciate your support this evening. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, for coming. You're welcome to stay with us. With that, we'll move to the next item, which is approval of previous meeting minutes. Motion oh, approved, Mr. Chairman. Motion by order, second by Goins. Discussion? Um, please vote yes or no and press the front. Does anyone wish to change their vote? 
Seeing none, Madam Clerk, we shall vote. 14 yes, motion passed. It's approved. Notary public application approval. What's the pleasure of admission? Make a motion, we approve. Motion by Stanfield, second by Jennings. Any discussion? Please vote yes or no. Press confirm. item is committee reports and minutes. Motion approved, Mr. Chairman. Motion by work. Mayor second. Second. Second by Bruce. <coughs> Discussion? Please vote yes or no and press confirm. Does anyone wish to change their vote? Seeing none, Madam Clerk, please show the vote. 14 yes. Motion passed. Committee reports and minutes approved. Budget amendments and other funding resolutions. We need to take these in sequence. Is that correct, Jeff? That's correct. Okay, the first <coughs> under consideration is approval of the 2018-19 tax levy resolution. Jeff, can you read it? I'll read the first part of the mayor. Okay. Section one, be it resolved by the Board of Campbell, uh, County Commissioners, Campbell County, Tennessee, assembly the record session meeting on the 16th day of July 2018 that the combined property tax rate of Campbell County, Tennessee for the year beginning July 1, 2018 shall be $2.25 on each $100 of taxable property, which is to provide revenue for each of the following fund and otherwise conform to the following levies. County General Fund, 89.24 cents. Solid Waste Sanitation Fund, 15.33 cents. Ambulance Service Fund, 10.23 cents. Industrial Economic Development Fund, 2.79 cents. Highway Public Works Fund, 5.16 cents. General Purpose School Fund, 79.01 cents. General Debt Service Fund, 14.40 cents. General Capital Projects Fund, 8.84 cents. Total Tax Levity, $2.25, Mr. Chairman. What's no, the pleasure, Commissioner? No tax hit, right? No, no tax, tax, tax. tax Mr. Chairman. Commissioner Orr. I make a motion we approve the approval of the 2018-2019 tax levy resolution. Second by air. Discussion? Please vote yes or no. Press confirm. Does anyone wish to change their vote? Seeing none, Madam Clerk, please show the vote. 14 yes. Levy resolution passed. Next item is approval of the 2018-19 appropriations resolution. Yeah. Mr. Chairman, uh, as we've discussed several times, you don't have to read the full resolution into the record any longer, but I will read section one into the record. Section one, be it resolved by the Board of County Commissioners of Campbell County, Tennessee, assembled in the regular session meeting on the 16th day of July, 2018, they, that the amounts hereafter set out are hereby appropriated for the purpose of meeting the expenses of the various funds, departments, institutions, offices, and agencies of Campbell County, Tennessee, for the capital outlay and for the meeting the payment of principal and interest on the county's debt maturing during the year, during the year July 1, 2018, ending June 30, June 30, 2019, according to the following schedule. In summary, the general fund appropriations are $16,498,880. The Solid Waste Sanitation Fund is $2,343,677. The Ambulance Service Fund, $2,888,343. The Industrial Economic Development Fund, $765,201. The um, Special Purpose Retiring Insurance Fund, 114,653, the Drug Control Fund, 54,435, the Highway Public Works Fund, 5,681,433 dollars, the General Purpose School Fund, 43,183,063 dollars, the School Federal Projects Fund, $44,904,054. 
Central Cafeteria Fund of the school system, $4,195,274. The General Debt Service Fund, $4,679,238. The General Capital Projects Fund, $1,075,571. And the other capital projects fund one million two hundred one thousand seven hundred and seventy one dollars. Pleasure, Commission. Mr. Chairman. Commissioner North. Motion to approve the 2018-2019 appropriation resolution. Motion by order, second by date. Discussion. Please vote yes or no. Press confirm. <coughs> Any wish to change their vote? Seeing none, Madam Clerk, please show the vote. 14 yes, motion passed. Next item is the approval of 2018 19 consolidated budget and individual fund budget statement resolution. Resolution approving the consolidated budget and individual fund budget statements for Campbell County, Tennessee for the fiscal year beginning July 1st, 2018. Whereas the County Commission has approved the fiscal year 2018-19 tax levy resolution the 16th day of July 2018. And whereas the County Commission has approved the fiscal year 2018-19 appropriation resolution this 16th day of July 2018. And now therefore be resolved by the Campbell County Board of Commissioners meeting in regular session the 16th day of July 2018 that section one, the 2018-19 consolidated budget and the individual fund budget statements of Campbell County are hereby approved for the fiscal year beginning July 1, 2018 and ending June 30, 2019. Section two, all resolutions in conflict here with B and the same are repealed insofar as such conflict exists. Section three, this resolution shall become effective immediately on its passage, the public welfare so required. Duly passed and approved the 16th day of July, 2018. Pleasure, Commission. <clears throat> Mr. Chairman. Commissioner Ork. Make a motion of approval of the 2018-2019 consolidated budget and individual fund balance statement resolution. Do I hear a second? Second. Second by your Discussion. Please vote yes or no. Press confirm. <clears throat> Does anyone wish to change their vote? Seeing none, Madam Clerk, please show the vote. 14 yes, motion passed. <coughs> that completes our 2018-2019 budget resolutions. I want to thank the Commission for hard work, the Finance Department for hard work. This represents so many good things for the county to include $388,000 above state BEP minimum. And we put our faith and trust in the school board to carry that out and look forward to the results that they're going to get for us. Next item we have is approval of wheel tax exemption for volunteer firefighters and rescue squad members. First reading. What's the pleasure of the commission? Motion to approve. Motion by Davis. I hear second. Second. Second by Ayers. Okay. Any discussion? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I just want to take Mr. this Jim. time. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. No. no. Okay. I just want to take this time to say that I support this issue and I'm going to vote for it. I'd like to apologize to the senior citizens. I tried dearly to include you and we couldn't find the support. Uh, so I'm going to take the blame for that and I apologize. Thank you. Any other discussion? Mr. Davis? I used to be a firefighter and it's a lot like being a elected official you got to put a lot of time and effort in you got to want to do it and these people they do it for nothing but they're helping all of us the senior citizens the people from out of town and, and they they get nothing but whatever they get out of the enjoyment of doing the work and I think it's just one way that we can help people that helps us Plus they, they help us on our insurance when you have help a lot. Absolutely. Mr. Ayers. <laughs> and Jeff, we do have the funding to replace this. It's only $6,750, ma'am, yes. Right. And there is a way to 
track this? That's my only question, like it was with a senior citizen. There's no way for us to know how many people are over 65 and how many that would entail. But in this case, they have to have been one year of service and one per fire fighter, fire person. So if it's husband and wife and both are volunteers, they can have two exemptions. If they both are volunteers? That's what I'm saying. If they're both volunteers and both meet the requirements. But I guess my question is implementation, and Maria might can help us. Is the fire department going to send you something? They already send us this yeah, well, every yeah. year. Think, and and yeah. they tell me uh, that they don't put anybody that's not had a year of service on, the on there already. So, okay. So there's already lists in place. I've had several of the firefighters call me and ask questions. That's why I'm, I'm for it, but I just want to make sure it can be implemented and, and be fair. Our chief of the rural fire service back here was oh, helping form that. Yes. That, that question has come up, and the only reason that I proposed it was because it's Tennessee state law. Mm -hmm. what we did. Right. And then it gave a, a, a guidance for it. And in the word it says that you have to be an active firefighter. So uh, I'm trying to find out right now from the study that we wrote the law what their definition of active is. And once I get clarification of that, I guess I can get with the mayor to work. Their term is what defines that. Right. Does that mean you serve on the board, or are you making a certain percentage of runs? Well, that's a, a gray area that's out there. Mm -hmm. And uh, the per whole purpose of the law is because the volunteer departments all the way across the state are losing volunteers, and they're not being able to recruit them. So the Tennessee State Government said, hey, let's try to get some kind of recruitment to a and keep the ones that we got. And that's the only reason I proposed it. And I took the numbers from our workman's comp that we turn in each year, a number of people in each department the workman's comp is where I got the numbers from. Well, I appreciate you and every, everyone and what they do. It's To me, it's more of a thank you than a dollar. I mean, it's $45 a year, but in this this case, it's implementable. It's something that we can we can know who's entitled and and we can replace it. So, thank you all. Any other discussion, Mr. Well? Can I just have him to explain to everybody what it takes to become a volunteer firefighter, so that we're just not giving out this to somebody who says I want to be a firefighter just to get my thing. I'll quote all the Tennessee State Law. The Tennessee State Law, you have to have 64 hours uh, class. You have to have uh, a driving class. Uh, you have to be basic first aid and CPR now. There's a whole lot of So You're probably talking two or three hundred hours of training before you can actually make the first, first so run anymore. Because all the laws are changing. <coughs> and they vote in actually Tennessee State Law that says you have to do Discipline, discipline. You have to take a 64-hour class and then go to the National Fire Department before you can actually fight fire. So, Good. You know, so they're just more into it than used to. You can say, right. I want to be a fire, fireman and jump on truck and go. It's not that way anymore. And in order for us to get the ISO fire training trade, we have to have 40 hours a year additional training on fire day. <laughs> And you all drive your personal vehicles a lot yeah. and no reimbursement, you know, that it's truly not just a volunteer, it's more of a volunteer and a charitable contribution from their side. And you have to sleep in half your clothes and be ready to go at three o'clock in the morning. All the volunteer so. in the county that provides any supplement pay is the city of Carroll. They pay theirs on a quarterly basis, like fifty or hundred dollars. Right. And all the other rest of them are just out of the pocket. Right. Thank you. Mr. Chairman. Mr. Sure. And as what Mr. Uh, Goins was talking about, our ISO rating in our in our subdivisions, our, our districts of our county, that if we didn't have these people actually working for us and volunteering, our insurance would be through the roof. Uh, not just mine, but everybody ever sits in this county, and they do a great job, and it keeps our ratings down, and I appreciate what they do. And, Mr. Chairman, 
before you call for the vote, yes. so that you will know, this requires two thirds ten vote. Yes, votes. Ten yes votes. Two consecutive meetings. Yeah, but to, for this vote to be the first. This pass, to go to the next meeting, yeah. we have to have ten, ten yes, yes votes. votes. That's correct. Okay. Any other discussion? Please vote yes or no and press confirm. Does anyone wish to change their vote? Seeing none, Madam Clerk, please show the vote. 14 yes. We'll move to the second reading next month. That right? That's correct. Next item is resolution to reclaim unclaimed balance of accounts remitted to the state treasurer under unclaimed property. <coughs> Have a motion by Stanfield. I hear a second. Second by Nance. That's a thirty-one thousand. Okay. Um, Jeff, do you have that number? I have no something idea. between thirty and thirty-five thousand. I, I think it's thirty-five thousand dollars. So the resolution to request, we also need authorization for me to execute the documents. Did I hear a motion? I so mean it. Is it acceptable for the first and the second? Okay. Let the record show Commissioner Fanfield, Commissioner Nance accepted those conditions. Any other discussion? Please vote yes or no. Press confirm. Does anyone wish to change the vote? Seeing none, Madam Clerk, please show the vote. 14 yes, motion passed. Next item is approval for payment of the monthly travel card. So moved. Motion Second. by Davis. Second by Goins. Discussion? Please vote yes or no. Press confirm. Does anyone wish to change the vote? Seeing none, Madam Clerk, please show the vote. 14 yes, motion passed. Next item is reports from county officials and departments, including Board of Ed. I'll look approved, Mr. Chairman. Motion by Lord. Second. 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 Second by Kitts. Any discussion? Please vote yes or no and press confirm. Does anyone wish to change the vote? Seeing none, Madam Clerk, please show the vote. 14 yes, motion passed. Next item for approval is reports for organization receiving funding from the county. What's the pleasure, Commissioner? So Commissioner. Motion by Goins. Second. Second. That looks like we only have one. That's what I was going to. Discussion? Seeing none, please vote yes or no. Press confirm. Does anyone wish to change their vote? Does anyone wish to change their vote? Seeing none, Madam Clerk, please show the vote. 14 yes, motion passed. Mr. Chairman, yes. looks like Mr. Douglas has arrived in 20. Well, Mr. Douglas, to check in. Joe, does that in any way affect our two thirds? No. Mr. Chairman, yeah. Commissioner Ork, before we move on, uh, can we go ahead and, and uh, discuss this property for uh, BMT, I think I've got Best Made on. Trailer? Uh, I think that there's parties here that was wanting to try to get it through so they could go back to work and make some more trailers. Yes. She has to confirm. Yeah. He's good. Did it work? Yeah, you got it. Oh, Did you 
have that on your portion? I did. Yeah. Okay. I mean, sure. if you want to wait on it, but I, they I requested if they could get moving on, which we're doing great tonight. Right. Um, I need to guess. We'll just move on and yeah, come back. Andy had the sketch there. You got one with you also. Here, Mayor. I have one. Mr. Coker's. Uh, I just want to be in the room. <laughs> Mr. Dillbeck's here. You concurred with this, didn't you? Well, what you're showing is 100 feet. You concur with that? That's going to be the Mr. Chairman, if, Mr. Orr. if I may, uh, they actually, Tony Simpson's here tonight, and I'm glad you're here also, Ron. They actually, if you remember last week, they came with a proposal. They're needing a place to actually get their tractor and trailers in off the um, uh, off the main drag or in front of the sanitary or uh, sorry I'm confused tonight the highway department and uh, we'd actually discussed there's like 2.1 acres there but we they just need a sliver if you have your maps in front of you it's a hundred foot wide starting out on the road frontage on Mount Perrin Road and it goes back into the property the blue section and tapers out and actually I've been out I think Scott's been out and looked at it uh, also and Ron you agree that the property Property is satisfying on your end with that, uh, and we don't know the exact size as far as acreages, but I think what we're looking at doing is doing it through the IDB, the Industrial Development Board. Am I correct, Andy? Yes, sir. It's sort of like what we did at Oswego's, but now uh, if this ever ceases being a business, it will revert back to the county. Uh, Ron will still retain the biggest part of this. If any of you have been out there and looked, it's a big, big hole, is what it is. It starts out about eight foot off of, uh, off of grade from Tony's property, and then it goes out about halfway, and it drops about 15 to 18 foot below grade. There's going to be a lot of fill. Mr. Simpson's going to do that to get his trucks in and out. So I recommend and make a motion that we turn this over and convey it to the Industrial Development Board, so they can. <coughs> Let Mr. Simpson acquire this through them, and we have the versionary clause coming back to the county if it ever ceases being a business. Is that is that fine with you, Ron? That's your just this little piece. That little sliver. We have to have it surveyed. Is that is that fine, Joe? What he's brought us tonight? Yes, we discussed earlier in the day. Um, well, I have a motion on four. Can I get second? Second. Right now, please proceed. There's we have a, a survey that was done many years ago of, of the different properties that are in this in, in this park or area. We have a survey of the property that BMT has now. We have a survey that shows this lot here. There's a little discrepancy about where a corner was or used to be, but that doesn't make any difference from, from this perspective. So we can take this line here, the north line of BMT, we have a, a bearing that goes along the road. We can go up 100 feet and we can do what's called force, force call. This line here, which will say what the bearing and distance on it would be, what the acreage or square foot calculation is. I have that software in my office. Excuse me. And if they want to have a, a current survey made, that's fine. You know, but this will be, you know, very, very close. So we can use that description to do what you're intending to do here for, for the purpose of the lease. And if it turns out that you need something that's more accurate than that, then we can amend it. I think it, we all are trying to look out for the best interest of the county when we look at these these problems and these uh, projects. And trying to bring industry in this county is something very, very hard. I've sat down here 12 years, and, and it's hard to pull people in. And Tony's did a great job. I think he actually announced a week or so ago about 100 jobs in Jellicoe and another 45 jobs over in Jacksboro, which is in, in, in my district, in the third district, in Cliff and Scott's. But... Uh, this will revert back. It's something we're not, county commission cannot give property away. 
but we can do it through the IDB, and then we've done that before, and it will revert back to, it's just a use, and the piece of property is not gonna hurt our county whatsoever. It's gonna help benefit our county by bringing more jobs in. Uh, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't dare to say how much it is, but I'm sure Marie probably knows by looking at it, it's probably not over, what, a third of an acre, if that. And, and it's a it's a hole in the ground. And what I've seen already, Mr. Simpson's done out there in the Jacksboro area, station area. He's done developed a lot of that property and fixed a lot of it. But my motion is to prove, and, and we already have that in a second. Uh, has anybody got any more questions? Tony's here, and road superintendents also. But it will it'll come back to the county if this stops being in existence. Do you have discussion? Please vote yes or no. Press confirm. Does anyone wish to change the vote? Seeing none, Madam Clerk, please show the vote. 15 yes, motion passed. Hey, you got the 605. Yes, I did. All right, you'll pass those out. I want to, while Tony's here, I want to say thank you because the job count is 191. When he bought Bush Tech, my wife was working for him. There are 12 employees out there. So they're netting right at 180 <laughs> new jobs over the last uh, couple of years. What Andy's passing out is the total number of jobs that come back to this county in the last four years. And you're a big part of that by doing things just like what you just did uh, to support business in Campbell County. Uh, you have a hundred additional jobs on Memorial Drive with BSH Thermidor. A year ago, we had 65 jobs come to the former packet body armor building in Caribou with BSH Thermidor. Nothing in that building is less than $16 an hour. Uh, what you know to protect the force is produce 58 jobs in the county owned building. Uh, and those are just the ones from the top of my head. Uh, we had some growth on exit 141, about 25 jobs. Austin Powder's come back uh, after departing in 2012-13. They're back in Peabody with 20 good paying jobs up there. And we're continuing to work with state legislature, TWRA and local mining companies to uh, add coal mining jobs back. And uh, some of you are very familiar with the efforts this body has made uh, through the County Commissioner Association, TCSA, Mayor's Association, to make sure that, that legislation can happen we'll get primacy back in Tennessee to permit our own coal. And I want to congratulate you all and thank you uh, for your support of jobs and industry in our county. And, and I gotta gotta thank you for the power grid upgrade that brought uh, 31 jobs to tell us incentivized for 65 in Ridgewood by 2020 and the 80 jobs in concrete concrete polishing and restoration in Ridgewood as well. <laughs> My thanks and congratulations. Don't forget the 141 interchange that helped build that section up. Uh, this commission actually um, did a resolution. The commission actually did a resolution back to our first term and talked the governor into funding that. And uh, 141 with the extra the extra lane for the truck route and the interchange, that's that's quite a bit of money been spent. A lot of them was workers here in Campbell County also. And it'll help build us more and more. And I appreciate what you've done. You've also served by the rail spur with the folks of it. And you have uh, broadband going in through Oak Valley and Stinking Creek. And was just made aware uh, last week through uh, Tennessee Department of Economic Community Development, uh, we've been designated for a $486,000 grant for fiscal 18 and an additional grant for the same amount in fiscal 19 uh, for broadband expansion. And so we're going to work to build a request for proposal and see how far that will go between Speedwell and Oak Grove in the communities that have asked for consideration there and compare what we can get there to extending the projects in Stinky Creek and, and Elk Valley and see where our best next next best, next best opportunity is for broadband. So thank you. Thank you for your support. Mr. Davis. While we're on jobs, while well, me and Mr. Kitts was in Nashville over the weekend uh, and that go nationwide uh, 
we were we were recruited by a company that wants to build a factory in Campbell County. They want to meet with us in September. They make synthetic rebar. And they want to build a plant in Tennessee somewhere and Alabama. And so they send me their information. Here's the literature on them. They make boat docks, walkaways. They do a lot of stuff. and. Uh, uh, they're interested in Campbell County and we've got a meeting set up for September and they'll be uh, calling you Andy and I need to get with you and uh, it's only 50 jobs a hey, 50 jobs is a lot of jobs a lot of job. thank God for the hundred we got last week and but uh, we ain't quitting and so it was I had some more to go on but I just want to do that while we we're talking about jobs so, thank you mr. chairman add to that uh, I received an email from Matt County today and uh, and I don't want to release the name of it because I'm afraid surrounding counties might uh, try to recruit them as well. But I'll get, be getting with Andy pretty soon. Great news. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. For my portion, we do have the oath of office uh, swearing in ceremony tomorrow get a at 8 30 in the morning. Did we resolve the plaques? issue purchase of the plaques in conjunction with school board and we had some coordination with uh, director field she is out of town but when she gets back we're going to follow up with the stop bullying campaign coordination we talked about last week uh, isaac's here do you have an update course um i haven't talked to uh, the person at the screen shop yet uh, uh, I think we can talk to him this week if pops isn't working or not but <laughs> uh, I've got donations from the county commission and I'd like to thank you and uh, you're at 400 <laughs> from the county commission right now so Commissioner Weldon's on the hook for another 400 right now. So. I, I was corrected. I, I was told it was 600 already. 600? Okay. He's going real hard right here. All right. Okay. So we're still open for those donations. Commissioner Jennings in. I'm in. Commissioner Bruce. I'm in. Commissioner Goins and Commissioner Kitts are in. So. Uh, you got another vote. coming, though. Okay. Got a vote. We'll put those in the safe. You got a vote. Vote. You got a vote. 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 Yeah, you know. Sorry. Move fast. Okay, this is on the property. The property. They didn't know. Oh, no. We're good there. You too busy this 605. So, let's run the Isaac told me his goal was to make sure all 5,000 of our students get a t shirt out of this. So, we've been challenged. So, Commissioner uh, Dave. Talking about the plaque. Okay. It was on my agenda to okay. get the resolution. We can do it now. Wait. You know, I'm, you, since ahead. you brought it up, okay. Go ahead. You do it. Want, Mr. Kitts, got to leave. I will make a motion to pass the resolution and to, since the budget has already been passed, to for Mr. Marlowe to do an amendment of six hundred dollars. The school board has contacted me. They said they if they would split it or anything over six hundred, they'd pay it all, whatever it takes. I brought a plaque. This is this plaque is a smaller version of what we're going to use. It will have Mike's picture here. We will have a saying about bullying to the to encourage the kids. We done been it's been done been approved to put in all, in all twelve schools. Hopefully at the gyms where kids can see it go in and out. And on the left hand side, it will have all the commissioners' names that that supported this. And on the right hand side, it will have all the school board members. It will have the mayor's name and the superintendent of the school on it. And this is to show the kids of the of Campbell County that their government cares about them. Now this ain't just my idea, this is all I'm's idea. But uh, we just want to do this for Mike, and that was my motion. Okay, I have a motion there, second. Unanimous second. Unanimous second, for the record. Adopted by acclamation. 
Thank you. Mr. Chairman. Sorry. Okay. Point of clarity. Um, the last time we did the money, you know, we did it to the individual school sites. Mm -hmm. With this $600, is it going to go to the school system? Are you going to buy the plaques direct? I just need to know how to appropriate the money next month. Are we going to purchase plaques? Are we going well, to give the money? There's a difference. I've got the price from Kirk Chitwood. He's a vendor with this county. Mm -hmm. Unless anybody else wants to go, uh, this one was going to cost $50, but we're going to go bigger since the school board wants to do something more than just the small one. And it, it shouldn't cost no more than what eight nine hundred dollars Well, it doesn't matter. All I'm trying to do is I need to appropriate it for the purchase of something if we're going to buy them direct or a contribution if we're going to give it to somebody else. It sounds to me like we're going to buy them if I get it. Yeah, yes. So can you work out how, okay. okay. You do it and then we'll I support can, I'll, it. I'll have, a, I'll have an amendment next month. That's okay. How <laughs> right, we got a vote? Mm -hmm. We voted yet. Well, we had a unanimous, unanimous. Second, so. Still vote. All right. Yeah, still vote. Still vote. Record. Please press yes. Confirm. Clerk, please show the vote. 15 yes. Motion passed. Mr. Chairman, before I Mr. depart, I got to go to Bible school, but I just want to thank uh, Mr. Davis and the commission for heading it up on the plaques. You know, the last time that uh, I seen Mikey, he was sitting right there where Isaac is right now, and Isaac was up here struggling for words to say, and uh, Isaac said, Get loud about it. and. Uh, Mikey coached him alone, and uh, I just want to thank you. It's going to be a good thing in the future out there, and I just appreciate Davis and everybody doing it there. I appreciate Isaac. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you. Okay. Moving commissioner's agenda. Do we, uh, do we need well? to uh, vote on the opting out of the contract by Ed Blackwell? Uh, I think that was that was just for information or it was for information really he just gave notice that he would no longer be seeking okay he dissolved his side of the contract okay so, do we have any business left on that i think that's okay so thank you commissioner Ayers. ron's still back there too. Okay. All right. Commissioner Bruce? I think we'll Okay. Commissioner Goins? Uh, the road superintendent, he might know what's going on. Uh, he might have got it down. I don't know. He said he was going to check it out and he made it. Okay. No. That was the designation of East and West yeah. Oaks Creek Road. Yeah. As opposed to just double street road. I thought he was back though. Yeah. Well, he told me he's going to take care of it. Okay. Do we have to vote on that? The road with the name would have to be officially changed. Uh, Has 911 made a request at this point? Well, I think well, they were waiting on us. So. Well, he said he was going to talk to 911. Okay. He said he didn't think there'd be no What's problem. What's your procedure, Jeff? Well, I'll uh, ordinarily 911 with a president send a request here for permission to approve. Well, okay. I need to make a motion then. I'll make a motion that we make the change. Request 911. 911 makes the change, Wyatt. Right? Okay. I have a motion by Goins to hear a second. Second motion. Second by Jennings. Any other discussion? Did you decide where it becomes east? And Brown west? Drive. Yeah, it's Brown Drive. Dope Street in that area. East and west. Over. East and west. Okay. Any other discussion? Please vote yes or no. Press confirm. Nine went off. Nine gone off. Went off. No, it worked. Now you're confirmed. Does anyone wish to change the vote? Seeing none, Madam Clerk, please show the vote. 14 yes, motion passed. Ralph, I thought we had yours. 
I just got part of me. Okay. Right. I got one more, one more announcement. I was in Nashville. A, a vendor is Ancestry. This is something they want me to bring back to y'all. They will come in, and they've been, they're doing it in every state. They will come to the county and put all of our records on digital disc for free. No cost to the county. And I asked them, well, how do you make your money? They said, well, they're, they're based in New York City. And so everybody's trying to find their background and history about where everything, where they come from. And they'll put all of our records on the disc. They'll keep our records. Somebody calls them, they can tell them, Charge, they charge them and tell them then they can come to Campbell County, then Campbell County can charge them to give them copies of it. And that's how we make our money. But we get it all for free. And every, every year they would update it. So uh, this is something that uh, need to talk to the finance department and talk to the commission and see if this is uh, a good idea. And if it is, you know, I mean, it's a lot of paperwork. So, Jeff, I meant to call you today and couldn't get a record. Mr. Chairman, what, what kind of record? Any records, you know, we got on file that's our uh, um, historic records and everything. We so. have a, 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 an issue. Um, like uh, a financial record out of my office, as now. Uh, that's a public record. You know, you guys voted on your policy here of how to have the, those records in charge. I think you call it the public records custodian or something like that. Uh, public records request custodian. I, I don't remember exactly. But you voted on the process and it entailed blah, 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 blah. And we try our best to not charge for those unless you have multiple copies and it's like so many cents. You, know, you would have to coordinate your two um, events together if it's going to be just any kind of record in the world where how would the person who wants to make a request for a public information document go about doing that if in fact we're going to have some kind of agreement with some firm located in New York City that's going to be the provider of that information predicated upon receipt of some payment of a fee. That's a little above my pay grade. Uh, you guys will have to. Uh, Joe, we'd have to consider contract and negotiate terms there. We just have to see what it is that we're going to do. Right. You know, we've, got, we've got a contract, for example, uh, with the deeds with uh, TileSurfing.com. You know, uh, don't know how that would work together. But we just have to see what, it's, what they would propose. Right, it's and I would think you know they're, they're, you can do they're not wanting every scrap of paper yeah. they not they want something that people would be interested in and would pay somebody to get yeah, most of them. Stuff, so, stuff that we don't want to lose yeah, we, in we just, case of a fire. There's all kinds of ancestry sites out there on the internet. Yeah. yeah. That's what it is. Ralph, would they send somebody to talk to us about it? Yes, if we you know, wish we invite them. Yeah. Right. Sure. Love to. All right, that, now I'm done. Okay. Thank you. All right. Mr. Higginbottom. Yes, the only thing I had, uh, Mr. Coker drafted up a letter regarding some unsafe property that within the county. I'm going to go ahead and have a resolution attached to this. I'm going to go ahead and table it to the next month's meeting. Okay. Mr. Jennings? Was it a kid? I left my uh, Mayor, I want to, uh, for a matter of record, uh, I think I have $2,500 in uh, escrow. Uh, I would like to donate that to the disabled veterans to the amount of $1,500, uh, with 1000 going to the honor guard, but it has to go through the disabled veteran. And I talked to the coordinator up there, and he has no problem with that. I'd also like to donate $500 to Meals on Wheels and $500 to the Campbell County Cancer Society. I'll second his motion, and that's coming out of your discretionary funds that you didn't use when we abolished them, right? Right. What year was that? Four years ago. Oh, what was the math again? I'm sorry. A total of 25 yeah, but the, the math to the DAV, 500 to Meals on Wheels, and 500 to Campbell County Cancer Society. 
1,500 to the disabled American veterans, and they will disperse a thousand of that themselves going to the honor guard. Yeah, that that 1,500 to the disabled American veterans. You have to go through. To, uh, they have to go through them. Okay, and that uh, that's Kevin, right? <laughs> Beg your pardon. Uh, the Veterans Affairs Office you're talking Absolutely. about. Absolutely. Okay. And then 500 to Meals on Wheels? Yes. And that goes through the Senior Citizen Center? Then, it right? does. All right. And then 500, 500 to, the to the Cancer Society? Campbell County Cancer Society. Thank you. Thank you. And I'll make that in the form of a budget amendment resolution for your approval at your August meeting. All right. So that's in the form of motion. Commissioner Ork seconded it. And that's through the discretionary funds that the first yes. year, if people don't understand, that's our first year it was down here. We had discretionary funds. Mr. Jennings did not use his. I had actually set them back, or my intentions was for the Veterans Cemetery. Right. That failed to uh, come about, so I thought I'd pass them along to these fine organizations here. I just wanted to have everybody had clarity where that was coming. Yes, from. thank you, <laughs> Mr. Colmar. Yes, sir. You got a vote. Oh, I'm sorry. Right. Oh, we got apologies. Are we set, Marie? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Please. You're voting on Cliff's motion. Yes. Vote on Commissioner Jennings' motion. Yes. I don't know if mine's going to work or not. Twenty. I can't tell what here, mine did. Is this right yeah. now? Yeah. Does anyone change the vote? Mine is black. Do we need a vote change? Which one? Your vote is black. I think it's green. Yeah. 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 Are we working now? Does anyone wish to change the vote? Seeing none, Madam Clerk, please show the vote. 14 yes. So Commissioner Colmeyer, table. 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 Uh, actually, we took care of the property, and uh, oh yeah, it's the permission to give uh, Friends of Campbell County Animal Shelter permission to remove the fence and relocate it. Anytime we have any changes up there, the commission has to approve it. I think they're going to try to do it in-house, but we need to make that uh, go. I'm sorry, it's Mr. Bear. <laughs> <laughs> I'm used to calling you that. Uh, we was out there a few months back, and they showed us what they was wanting, and it's, uh, it's actually where it's at right now. It's not usable. It's a kind of a swampy area, and the other side, they actually could have dog runs on that side. It's more drier, and I think uh, but they just need permission to do it right now. No money, nothing. They're going to do it in house. Okay. Second. Motion or second by Davis. Discussion? Please vote yes or no. Press confirm. Yes. Sorry. Does anyone wish to change the vote? <clears throat> Seeing none, Madam Clark, please show the vote. Fourteen yes, push your back. The other thing that I had on there, we discussed it, and uh, I don't know if I actually need to make a motion, but to let everyone know that our election's coming up in about three weeks. Some of us probably won't be here, but we're still officials until the swearing in of the new ones. Just keep in mind, and if, if I need to make a motion to do this, uh, if you actually get defeated in this election, and I may get defeated, we don't need to go for orientation. Uh, just to keep in mind, uh, you're still elected official. This happened once once before a few years back, and, and it don't need to happen again. If you're defeated in this election, uh, you don't need to go for orientation. There's no, no need for it. So do you just feel like that needs to be made in the motion that the finance department's got direction not to do that? Yes. 
make it a form of motion if, if one of us is defeated on the county commission that we do not, there's no payment. Go ahead, Cliff. Since I'm not running, I think it's a heck of an idea. <laughs> and I'll make your motion for you. My motion is to go ahead and, and, uh, and direct the finance department not to reimburse. They can go if they want to, but they're going on their own dime. Uh, I'll second that motion. Okay, motion second. Discussion. Please vote yes or no. Press confirm. Since I've never been. <coughs> Does anyone wish to change their vote? <coughs> Seeing that, Madam Clerk, please show the vote. 14 yes, motion five. I've never been on a trip with this before. Okay. I mean, I took a year to go. Are there any other contributions to the stop bullying campaign tonight? How much has he got? Well, right now, he's at 400 cash in hand, but I think. Okay. Goes in the safe. <laughs> so, so we're at five hundred. So the well check accounts five hundred dollars less too. Uh, oh, I got, I got a question. How much uh, do we have on the plaque? There's two hundred in the box it, already. Could we, <laughs> beside of the plaque, could we have a uh, a shirt in honor of Mike Ork? Like framed. Beside of the flag. Put it in a poster frame. That, that, that's something different, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, your shirt's done been approved. You mean put, saying, put one on the wall? You say yeah. frame it like a jersey. Oh. Like beside, in honor of Mike Warwick. You put well, does his wife frame. agree with that? They are. Absolutely. All right. That's, well, it's, we'll take care of it. Uh, just, just 12 shirts so we can handle that. That'd be good. Thank you. All right. So how much Isaac do we have? Isaac's done a fantastic job. Well, yes. Isaac. There's 200 in the safe, and you've got how much? Okay, so we'll, we'll put his name and his district that he served in on the shirt. Would that be good? All right, so. Joe. We'll put Mike's name and the district that he served in on the shirt. Okay. Mr. Chairman. Before you close, Mr. Attorney, there was there was an item that was discussed here about approving a lease for an antenna. I was fixing to make the motion. Nobody is going to come back and try to pay. I was trying to see how much money we had. Then I was going to make a motion to suspend the rules to approve the antenna and tower lease agreement. Second motion. I have a motion by Ayers and second by Ort to suspend. Oh, he's laughing about the discussion. Yeah, <laughs> say no. Please vote yes or no on suspension of rules for that action. It's time to go for it. Does anyone wish to change the vote? Seeing no, Madam Clerk, please show the vote. 13 yes, one no. Commissioner Jenks. We was on a roll. We was on a roll. We was actually on a roll tonight. I don't know if you noticed it. Everybody's voted yes all up to yes. this time. <laughs> You're consistent, Cliff. <laughs> I do what I say I'm going to do. Okay. Commissioner Ayers. Yes, this time. Well, I need to make a motion, then I have some questions myself, to approve the antenna and tower lease agreement between the new owner of some property. It's Garen Smalls is the new owner in Campbell County. Second motion by air, second by work, discussion. Now, my question, Jeff, is, and Jeff or Joe, I don't know who, should we have a clause in here that this runs with the land and not the owner? Because what if this person didn't agree to do to do this? Shouldn't it say that it would, like any new owner would agree to the terms of any remaining lease? Or? That would be like a perpetual uh, easement agreement. Mm -hmm. there, there would be a way that we could do it uh, where it would run with the land. What if the owner now wouldn't agree to set terms? I'm just, I guess I'm just asking. If he hasn't been asked that question, so. Uh, I mean, I'm fine with going with this, but I would like for somebody to ask and try to do that in the next month or two if he's in agreement. I can get it locked in. Because if he sells it to somebody else and they don't agree, then we're locked out of the tower. It's almost like the helipad that was out in Pinecrest that the fire department put on somebody else's land with no That's 400 a year. 
I'm asking you. You're, you're the attorney. But <laughs> I'm just saying if this gear and small sells, there's nothing in here that says the new owner has to even continue this lease. I'm asking you the bill. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see why it would be an issue with what it is and where it is. I mean, I would think anybody would want to continue it. Yeah, so I'm just saying approach him and ask, go ahead and do this, and then if he's in agreement, do some modifications. I think you can probably achieve the latter of what you said fairly easily uh, or that they would have a clause in the lease that says if in fact it's sold during the term of the lease that the new owner has to continue the lease. I don't know about whether somebody would agree to now at the end of time we're going to let you lease that. Uh, yes, thank you for going that route. Why don't we just attempt to buy yeah, like the property? Like 36 a month. Well, I don't know. 36 a month. 36 a month. Where's the park? Stinking Creek. It's the Hollis property you see. Well, it would take a year. I don't know that. I can't recall. I'm sure you're thinking the same thought. I don't know. I, I think this could be worked out. We just we'll approve what we've got, but since I won't be here in two months or whatever, just don't let it drop. So a motion to approve this, and we've got a second. So. Okay. Have a motion second any other discussion? Please vote yes or no, press confirm. Come on, machine. Does anyone wish to change the vote? Say none, Madam Clerk, please show the vote. 14 yes, motion passed. Mr. Orr, go ahead, Mr. Bruce. I had to beat my dad. We've left two schools. We've got the Home Ruthford Learning Academy and the Sarge Collins Learning Academy in Jellico. We can put plaques. And 14 schools. And t shirts for those schools. Okay. Hello. Hello. It's cool. Let me, uh, uh, let me say, go ahead. All right. What this ain't confirmed, but what I've been talking to with, with Crystal, Mac, Mac, or I'm going to call her McNeely, but Creekmore, school board member, is if we can get all this done before the school has their orientation, at the, where's they're going to have it at this year? If we can get this took care of by then, then they can take care of all this and get in all, everybody in the county will know about it. All, all the teachers and everybody be there, and they can do it. The superintendent can do it at the orientation, show the plaques, and you know announce it then that it's going in each school. If that's all right, you all. I mean, that, that, that's what I've been working on, but it's it's y'all's decision. It's just me talking. Does that sound good? Yes. Does that sound good, everybody back there? Okay. All right. All right, now, Rushy. Sure. I just, I've just got a um, kind of little input this evening. Uh, I've been a commissioner for 12 years, and I know that, that Mr. Goins and Johnny and Sue, uh, they've been here a lot longer, and this commission has done a great job. Uh, this year, if you are not aware, this is our fifth budget. And a lot of people says, well, you, you've had two tax increases in one year. No, uh, that's not the truth. We've actually had to deal with five budgets this cycle. Jeff can jump in if I get cross-threaded, my favorite saying. But uh, with the state law changes, that we actually now have to pass the budgets before August. And it's very, very hard. We've all sat through this. The first year down here is the same way. And it's just, you're playing catch up all the time, but this has changed. And now our budgets are passed with a, maybe some new commission coming in. And when they come in, they, they don't have to kind of learn everything in a, in a month. They've got a whole year to learn it. And, and I appreciate it. And I appreciate what the finance department has done. This, we've, we've accomplished another uh, no increase budget this year. We, we still stayed flat at 225. And the mayor's office and all of you has really actually put a great fourth of great effort. Whether we agree or disagree, we debate and we leave here friends when we do leave. We don't leave here mad. But we've actually succeeded in a lot of things in this last four years, whether you believe it or not. Uh, Melvin used to ask me all the time, he'd say, we've not done nothing. 
We've not done nothing. I said, yeah, we've kept the lights on. We've kept the bills paid. But this commission here has done a lot. Uh, they've changed some things around and actually made the county a whole lot more prosperous. And I applaud each and every one of you and for the job well done. And let me say, I, I appreciate what you've done tonight. Okay. I do. Thank you. One calendar note. Uh, the Community Action Board actually has initiated Community Night Out for August 7th. I expect that to be in uh, Sergeant Park in La Follette and up to the city of Jellicoe as to where they're going to do that. So, that's the end of our agenda. I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. Second. Oh, motion to adjourn. Mayor, I have